What's going on people of the Tyree? Today I discussed the Doctor Who Climb Mod soundtrack in detail for the very first time. So yes, Doctor Who Client Mod Soundtrack. This is not a topic that I have really discussed a lot in the past. I don't think there really has been a video in over a year and a half that I have discussed it. But I have discussed it on the forums, which is why you should always go to the forums if you want to know more. Not everything gets put onto the channel. Anyways, let's get into it. The soundtrack for the Doctor Who Climb Mod is being produced by myself and Zachary Anderson. And thus far, sounds friggin' amazing. We have produced several tracks already with a pretty big list of tracks waiting production. Uh, the soundtrack will be comprised of a combination of three different sets of tracks. The first kind, original compositions. These are tracks that are created by us with only slight influence by existing works. Reimaginative compositions. These are tracks that are our own creations, but borrow heavily on themes and motifs of tracks from the show. Uh, these tracks are our way of taking what we love most about the every era of Doctor Who music and incorporating them into our own creative vision. And then there's just recreations. Exactly what it sounds like. Uh, while we will not be doing anything... Uh, while we will not be making too many pure recreations, there will be some tracks that we just love and need to incorporate into the into the Doctor Who Client Mod soundtrack in some place. There will be cases in which we would we will toy with the recreations and put our own unique spin on them. Let's discuss the overall tone of the soundtrack. The Doctor Who Client Mod literally starts off with the most depressing thing for the Doctor to experience, the apparent, apparent death of the TARDIS. This is why many of the tracks are geared towards grabbing the pent-up sadness that is encapsulated by the Doctor, or Sorrow, rather. Uh, for the Doctor Who Climb Out, it is, a very, it is very important to me that our music grabs you and delivers a big emotional punch. I've always maintained that the music in Doctor Who is just as much a character as the Doctor, the Companion, and the TARDIS, which is why Zachary and I are doing our very best to give our tracks the personality that Murray Gold tracks have. Without the amazing score, Doctor Who would not be what it is. I feel the same thing goes for Doctor Who Climb Mod cutscenes. Some of the things I wanted to see out of our tracks is a greater emphasis on a buildup of emotional gratification. Instead of just jumping directly into the action, as a lot of tracks in the show have done, we want to slowly build up to an emotional climax that really grabs you and carries you through to the very end. The scoring is a very important part in making dialogue that much more poignant. Poignant? I can't talk today. Anyways, for an example of what I'm talking about, go search for, uh, on Spotify or something, Who's Enigma from the, uh, Christmas special in 2012. That being said, we will have some amazing action-based songs that incorporate elements of I Am The Doctor, All The Strange Strange Creatures, The Doctor's Theme Series 4, and some unreleased action tracks from Season 8 as well. Uh, we will also be bringing in some amazing Torchwood and Sarah Jane Adventures inspired or based tracks. We don't want these to be pure recreations, but rather evolutions of these tracks, especially I Am The Doctor. Our arrangements will be very much different than the show, yet still have the same essence. The funny thing about some of our tracks is that they convey a sense of mystery, as if to say the quote-unquote show itself doesn't know uh, who our Doctor is. The Eleventh Doctor is still out there, he's alive, pre trends lore, and traveling with Clara, for now. Yet he is also dead and regenerated in our 12th Doctor. There's an air of suspicion in some of our tracks that will, that some may find a bit unsettling, which, if it is, we are doing our jobs right. The last thing I want to discuss about the tone of the soundtrack is the way we want to convey the Doctor's emotions. While our Doctor is a mystery to the viewer, he is still 100% the Doctor, a man who, at this point in his life, has lived 1300 years. He has lost friends, family, and his whole species is locked a second out of sync with the rest of the universe. That creates a huge amount of emotional baggage. We want to capture what the Doctor is feeling at these emotional moments. So let's preview uh, some of the tracks that we have completed. 
While we are working on dozens of tracks, each one takes several days to complete from start to finish, and as such, I am the I am only going to be previewing about three or four tracks. And yeah, that's my cat. Uh, we are currently working on some amazing tracks that I'm sure you are going to love, but I hope that you enjoy these ones just as much. So the first one I'm going to be discussing is The Breath of His Sorrow. This is, a re this is a reimaginative composition. This track was something that I had stuck in my head for a very long time now. To me, this track em embodies the emotions of all the modern Doctors. Basically, it takes two of my favorite tracks, The Doctor's Theme and Sad Man with a Box, and organically melds them together. This track not only samples those tracks in our own way, but at the end, you may notice that we have incorporated elements of the track from Deep Breath when 12 fell down before the credits. This is this bit of percussion stuck with me and is a I think it's a great way to say, hey, we have not forgotten about Capaldi or Capaldi. Uh, you may notice there are some sharp bits in the track. Uh, this is to convey an eerie feeling complementing the unknown nature of our doctor. There will be an arrangement of this track that is way more uplifting. Zachary Anderson and I must have spent over a week and a half getting everything just right and matching what I have had rattling in my head for ages. And there goes a phone text. Uh, what sort of time, or what time do you call this? This is a recreation composition. This track is based on the original track, My Husband's Home, from Season 7, Part 1. I just love this arrangement in, of I Am The Doctor's emotional parts, and I just needed it for the Doctor Who Climb on. We will be revisiting this track once we find a decent clapping instrument, as that is one element of the original track that is sorely missed in our recreation. The name change from My Husband's Home to What Sort of Time is not entirely disingenuous. Our name for the track still reflects uh, the Doctor and River's relationship and references the Season 5 finale when the Doctor gets onto the Exploding TARDIS and he and River exchange the dialogue, Honey, I'm home. Or And she says, What sort of time do you call this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the next track and the last one I will be previewing uh, today is Safe Landing, the background arrangement. This is a recreation composition. Uh, it's based on the track Safe Landing. <laughs> Go figure. This arrangement was designed to be used as background music on the Stargate Channel videos. Safe Landing is one of my favorite arrangements of, my, of Madman with the Box. It first debuted in the 2012 Christmas special and has stuck with me ever since. We will, however, be doing a separate full orchestra arrangement with vocals and all the instruments. And yeah. Uh, and moving on, will we be able to purchase the soundtrack? Or soundtrack, rather. I keep saying soundtrack. Anyways, will we be able to purchase the soundtrack? At this time, I do not know if we will be offering the Doctor Who Climb Mod soundtrack for purchase due to various copyright and legal reasons. Another reason I am hesitant to offer the soundtrack is because there will undoubtedly be people of whom will use it in their own videos without any kind of credit. <clears throat> yeah. It is something that we still have not come to a conclusion on. However, <clears throat> if we do ultimately decide to sell it, we do not have to be concerned about the Minecraft U e U L A because our music does not rely on Minecraft to function. Another thing that I have been considering is offering it as a perk for patrons of a certain tier on our Patreon campaign at www.patreon.ikingsscc.com. This is definitely something that we have to think more about as we get closer to release. Uh, yeah, that's all for this day of Doctober. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, important links are in the description box below uh, and at the bottom of the thread on the iKings.cc forums. Like, comment, subscribe, all that crap. Don't forget to go to the iKings.cc forums thread for this video and vote on the poll. Roll the outro. Roll the outro.